as the Royal Yacht Victoria and Albert glides into the mouth of the River Dart, memories must be revived for His Majesty. For the King himself was a cadet at the Royal Naval College in the years before the Great War. It is His Majesty's special wish that this visit shall be informal, so he wears a lounge suit, as with the Queen and the Princesses, he spends a damp but happy afternoon seeing something of the life of the Dartmouth Cadets of 1939. His Majesty will perhaps note with pleasure that health and muscular control are still important branches of naval training. And there's one event in which the princesses must be as interested as their royal father. For they took their own swimming and life-saving tests only a few days ago, though they didn't have to do tricks with apples. Later in the afternoon, each member of the royal family plants a tree in commemoration of this visit. The king, a purple beech, the Queen a golden beech, Princess Elizabeth a white beam, and Princess Margaret a scarlet chestnut. And the King said to Princess Margaret, double up now, remember you're in the Navy. The next day the Queen wears a cream coat trimmed with white fox fur, and the King is in the uniform of Admiral of the Fleet, when he inspects the cadets before attending divine service in the chapel. And so ends this visit to the scenes of His Majesty's youth.